Many ask, how do I know if my intuition is true? How do I know that I am not just making this up? How do I know that I need to move forward? It is a matter of learning to trust yourself and to start from the very beginning, those moments of feeling something shift within and to recognize it and identify it and say, ah, there was a point there that something moved. And do I choose to follow it and trust it? Or do I wish to push it away? These little points of shift in your consciousness. Some may actually have a symbol that you bring towards yourself. Maybe you find a coin on the ground, maybe a song that comes on the radio, a remembrance of a certain friend. Maybe there is a feather. Whatever the symbol is, this is a validation from your energies and a call out to those who support you to validate you, to help you move forward. And that is how you begin to trust your intuition. So those are the moments and you will see them in looking back that there are many times when they have happened and you have gone from your heart and having a, ah, oh, I wonder if that was a sign to, oh no, that could not have been a sign. That could not, that was just something or other. And you begin to explain it away and overthink it. This is natural. This is part of the human experience. Do not, do not beat yourself up for doing these things. This is part of evolution and growth. There is no right or wrong. So if that has happened in the past, it is all right. It may continue to happen. It is part of learning to trust your intuition. So again, follow the simplicity where there is that little spark, that little shift, go, oh, and allow your curiosity to play, allow your imagination to play and feel within. Does it make you feel like you want to follow it and that you are expanding? That you are filling with light and possibility and interest? Or does it contract and feel almost like an energetic repelling? Does it go into your head and your mind and you begin to explain it away? This is how to know where to follow your intuition. So in these moments, we ask you to trust yourself and to love yourself and to know that there is no right or wrong, that you are doing exactly what you need to be doing and to savor the process. Many of you wish to rush the process we understand, as this conduit speaks with us, that she has done the same very much. It is something that she explores often, is this energy of rushing, anxiety, wondering and questioning. And that in itself is a way that is an old protection. And understand that that is a fair way of allowing that energy to move through you. It is part of the grand scheme of release work but when it comes to the intuition, it is just part of the process. And so if this happens for you, it is natural. So we hope that you are relating to this metaphor, these examples. We ask you to try to play with it a little bit and to understand that each time that you do, you are building upon that strength and your ability. Every time you follow your heart, these little nudges, these signs, these validations, Every time you do it, your intuition becomes stronger. Your abilities become stronger. We all have these abilities on all levels. And as you move forward through your three-dimensional experience, you will find so many choices with which to play. And so we shall leave it with you for that today, to trust your intuition and your curiosity, play with your imagination, and as always, if you need our support, we are always here around you. We ask you simply to connect with us and we will be there for you. We love you. We are representatives for the Syrian Council of Light. And we thank you for being on the earth at this time, dear one.